Hello and welcome to today's devotion. My name is Toba and with my wife Abimbala, we are the African Connect Pastors for Audacious Church. This week, we are on a journey through Matthew 28, 16 to 20, the Great Commission, a moment in history where Jesus equipped and empowered and enabled his followers to change the world. We've looked at the power of obedience, the call to make disciples, and the authority of Christ. Today, we are looking at baptism as a sign of discipleship. In Matthew 28, 19, Jesus commands his followers to baptize new disciples in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Baptism is a public declaration of faith and an essential step in the journey of discipleship. It symbolizes dying to our whole self and being raised to new life in Christ. Baptism is more than just a ritual. It's a profound expression of our identity in Christ. When we are baptized, we are declaring to the world that we belong to him and that we are united with him in his death and resurrection. It's an outward sign of an inward transformation, a sign that we are now part of God's family. The act of baptism also reflects the unity of the Trinity. Jesus instructs us to baptize in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This reminds us that our salvation is a work of God in his fullness. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit work together in harmony to redeem us and make us new. For those who are already baptized, this call reminds us of our commitment to Christ. It's a call to live out the transformation that baptism represents. Every day we are called to die to sin and believe for Christ. Growing in our relationship with him and becoming more like him. As believers, we are also called to encourage others to take this step <laughs> of faith when someone is baptized. It's a moment of celebration for the entire Christian community as we witness a new disciple being born into the family of God. As we pray together today, say, Lord, thank you for the gift of baptism and the new life it represents. Help us to leave out the commitment we made to follow you. Give us the courage to encourage others in their faith hate journey and everyone says amen love you church join me tomorrow as we continue our journey through matthew 28 16 to 20 and we are looking at the presence of christ within us god bless you